Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Virtutage channel. Okay, uh, right in front of me you can see the latest uh, release, recent release from Almost Real, uh, the rough uh, rodeo uh, concept car. Okay, so this, yeah, at the background I have this uh, those Mini GT that I've just uh, done my recording. So this would be the next car I want to cover. Basically, it's kind of some kind of somewhat a uh, season of Porsches and also a rough. Okay, so uh, yeah, the only rough that I know um that that I've got right is actually the Para sixty four versions. Um, just I don't I don't have it readily with me. Uh, I'll see if I can you know when when the Mini GT because the Mini GT is planning to do this as well. So when the Mini GT version uh, is out, maybe I can do a comparison. Um, between this and the Para 64 uh, versions as well and even the, the Mini GT rough uh, versions so when I say Para 64 it's the rough uh, yellow bird the one that's famous in uh, 1987 yeah okay so since then this one um, this is basically a concept car that was built in year they were not say it wasn't built in 2020 they wanted to showcase it in 2020 in the Geneva um, auto show and um, yeah, we all know what happened in 2020, right? So the show didn't happen and they kind of released this uh, video showcase. Um, that's where we have seen uh, the, the basically Ruff himself uh, together with his wife uh, introduced this uh, concept car. So generally, basically, this car is the uh, brainchild of um, um, Ruff's wife. Uh, she is from um, Texas, I, I believe, uh, US. So they are very into off-roading stuff. So yeah, now, now it kind of explains why, right? Ruff, <laughs> Ruff is not is not a brand that you would imagine them going going off-road, right? So yeah, there we have it. Um, here it is. So almost real is, is doing it. Uh, I believe this is. I remember I saw it somewhere. This is licensed by Ruff. Or did I see it wrongly? Ah, there. Is it? Is that it? No, I don't think it is. Collector's packaging, fragile, manufactured by some Smoto Toys. Okay, address and stuff. Okay. Ruff logo at the back. Ruff. Ah, there, there it is. <laughs> So there's a QR code. I oh, I didn't try this. I'm not sure where it's gonna lead to. Sand gold. Uh, the rough uh, design basically. Yeah. Okay. Under license. All right. Not bad. Not bad. So almost real. The cars that I know that that they have done right is um, mainly off road. I I don't have any um, almost real cars actually. This would be. Is this my first? Yeah, this would be my first almost real model. Hang on, it's really very tight. It feels very premium, you know, the box. It does feel very premium. Yeah. So almost real, in my head, I'm only aware they're doing um, four, four wheel drives. Off roads, I guess, basically, this is kind of up their line as well. Oh, there's a card underneath. What's a card? Oh, okay. That's nice. So again, with the QR code, don't, not sure where does it go. Rough Rodeo. I think that's how they pronounced it. Rodeo, right? Did I get it right? I hope I get it right. Okay. So the uh, display case is different from Eno and uh, Tarmac and Initial Model, you know, the ones that we used to seeing. It's a slightly different size. This one seems to be a little bit smaller. Okay. But uh, generally, it's a uh, click case. Oh, mine! It has a sticker. Sorry, I didn't. I need to remove the sticker first. It has that protective sticker so that the cover just doesn't just fall off. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got. I got the stickers messed up in my fingers. Okay. Okay. Get it open. There we go. Very easy to open. So I guess that's why they need the sticker, right? Quite nice actually. It is quite nice. It is quite close to to the real car. I've I've just watched the video the past hour or so. Oh, actually, it's quite close to the real thing. Shall we open it up? I think we should, right? We should open it to 
to take a much closer look, right? Okay, in the meantime, uh, this one I don't have it out yet. So, uh, yeah, what I usually do, right, most of the time, I will do live unboxing over on uh, Collector's Cube uh, on their Facebook. Do look them up. That's QUBE. Um, if I have any extra ready stock items, right, this one I do have a couple of them extras. Uh, they will be made available to through their website, colqube.com. Okay, I'll put a link in the description below. So this would be, would be the base. 2219, I'm not sure what does that stand for. Is that a product code? Let me see the barcode at the back. No, so I I wonder if this is a running number. Let me let me see if I can see another unit and I I don't think I'm gonna make a guess that it's not a running number. Oh it is. I have a 2234 and I have a 171787. One, so yeah, I guess that's actually a running number. 2219. Okay, two two one nine. Actually, quite it does feel like it's a solid build. Okay, it doesn't feel plasticky. It's die cast. So for die cast, it is actually built quite nice. It does feel like a qual. It's a quality build. Sorry about the camera. Okay, so it's a uh, sand gold with that olive uh kind of green. Um, the sand gold is inspired by. Uh, basically going off-road right the sand okay <laughs> actually it said something about it but I forgot oh, yeah I forgot my script damn I remember the green is based on the Ralph's uh, NATO NATO version green okay oh not bad not bad it did cover all the details from the real uh, concept car the luggage space on top that's the most obvious thing okay that would be the most obvious uh, I think it's uh, it's permanently installed on top. It does look like it's uh, being riveted into the body. Okay, we go to the front. Yep, it has it has that kangaroo bar with the ropes. Okay, tied to it. It does feel like it's real ropes. Very nice done by almost real. It really is almost real. The rough logo on the extra headlamps, spotlights. Okay. Because the places this uh, Porsche will go, this rough will go, probably it's going to be very dark. And uh, if I understand correctly, right, this would be, um, this is based on the uh, 30th anniversary CTR uh, chassis. Okay, and this would be the first uh, four wheel drive uh, chassis, uh, sorry, four wheel drive on this particular chassis by rough. Okay, and uh, basically the four wheel drive can be adjusted, the amount of power you want from the front or the back. And with a with a switch with a knob actually not a switch a knob, okay. So on the inside, right, it is very brown. Um, when when I saw the video, it's pretty much inspired by the saddle on a horse on horseback. So, um, yeah, it's a lot of brown inside. Okay, so true to to the real thing. Okay, the shovel at the back. Yep, that's that's uh based on a real car as well. Okay, what's that? Yep, Rodeo. I can't recall how they pronounce it. It's not pronounced as Rodeo. <laughs> okay, the mud guard. That's done very nicely. Okay, and of course, of course, we gotta, we gotta do. Oh, yeah, yep, it rolls. It rolls. Okay, mm, quite smooth actually. It is quite smooth. Quite effortlessly. Man, this is actually very smooth for a premium car. Not much wobble. I think it's even I think I can almost say it rolls better than Mini GD. This particular model. So I don't okay, it's quite narrow though. I don't think the real proportion is this. This is really narrow. Okay, maybe that explains why it rolls so well. So there's a tow hook down here, you gotta be very careful with it because these things are really very easy to knock out. Okay, there's a tow hook at the back as well. It does feel very solid. Okay. Unlike some other brands, right? Where yeah, just touch it and then you just fall off. I guess if you guys have been watching my videos, right? I think you guys have watched it happen before. Say I if you've if you've seen it happen. Oh, uh, I want to point this out as well. This this uh intake here, this aer aerodynamic piece on the fender. Yep, it's really as per the real car. This exists on the real car as well. So really very nicely done by by almost real actually. It's actually done quite nicely. Okay, not sure how many was made, but looks like it uh yeah looks like 
they have done quite a lot of it. Number 2000. <laughs> Not sure how many was made. Okay, nice. Okay, definitely need to go with my cowboy chick. Definitely. Right? Oh, that. Very nice. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, so uh, that's it for this time around. Uh, remember to look up uh, Cube over on Facebook and uh, hit up their website as well. Their web store actually, coldcube.com, C O L Q U B E.com. I'll put it in the description below. Hit that like button, um, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell so that you don't miss on any of my other diecast videos. Okay? Alright. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.